Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Mickey and welcome back to my personal Kirsty Mickey channel. In this video we're going to do some bubble nails because I'm a little bit obsessed with this effect, to be honest. Now, I'm doing Charlotte's nails, so if you've seen the video where I've done um, the cremation ashes inside the nails, these are the nails after we removed the ashes. So we have some nails without any nails on. This little one, that little one there that I just cleaned off with my dust a bit. Um, Charlotte, actually, not that off. And you can see it on the paper. Can you see on the paper there? Yes, she knocked it off. Flipping tyres at Cave. They call it Caveman Training. It's like some crazy fitness thing that she's doing. So I'm just wiping them over after I've dusted them off because I've I've already prepped them so I've removed surface shine and blended the nail ready for a fill. I've dusted them off and I will also dehydrate them and put the primer on. I do like an acid primer. I do like an acid primer so that is what I'll do. Currently lying in bed I have a bit of a bit of a bad chest coming. So if, I, if I'm a bit, <laughs> a bit heavy breathing, you know, I'm heavy breathing today, I'm sorry. So as I fold the paper over, the reason I'm folding it over is because I'm capturing the dust inside. And it's very important because I don't want to wipe my brush on a dusty piece of kitchen towel. These nails were done at my house. So we're just chilling in a comfortable environment. Now I've slowed this down a little bit so you can really see what I'm doing. Picked up the bead and as I place it on, I pat it to its corner and then I pull it down. And you can see I'm pointing the finger down and look how tight and close to the cuticle I am. But I'm not flooding the cuticle. I'm making sure that side is nice and straight. I'm not letting the product flood onto the skin at the sides because you don't want that because it causes a nightmare. And then you've got to file it off and then you'll end up cutting your client. So I'm just rebalancing the apex here and still making sure we've got that nice beautiful blend because we've got a baby boomer French ombre. Now for the marble nail, I'm just going to fill that with natural beige this is from neo nails and i'm using my alicia brush now this brush is a size 12 it's perfect for what what i need i love a pinched brush as well and if you see what i did again with the bead this is all still slowed down so you can really see i'm aware that i work quite quickly especially when i'm filming i'm not really talking about what i'm doing I'm aware that I film, you know, I, I actually race along doing the fill and I wanted to just slow it down so you could see it a little bit better. And again, just neatening up that side. I am going to try and talk through the whole thing because we know we don't like a bit of music in the background because you can't hear what I'm saying, can you? This nail, yes, it's a little bit sore. That's because, yes... Charlotte loves a little bit of picking and a little bit of biting. Um, so you know, I want you to notice now where I'm placing this bead. So it's kind of a third of the way up. Pointing the finger down so it draws away. But then I'm catching the sides. So you just catch it the sides. And then gently press it down. Making sure each side doesn't fall. And as I'm pressing... I'm slightly pulling the product so it moves all the way to the tip. And the part of the brush that I'm using is the belly of the brush, which is the centre part. And that will give you a little bit more strength to actually move the product down. Now I'm just making it even. So you don't need to point the finger down as much now because it's starting to polymerise. And you can sort of move it and it will stay where you place it. Now for the second bead. So this is like a two bead application. 
which I, you know, I find very easy to do, especially when nails are a little bit longer like this. Again, place the bead on, tap, tap to the corners, pull down, make sure that's nice and neat. And see, I'm just moving a little bit of that product to the side, and I'm definitely short on that side, not short on this side though. And we just pull that down. So I need a tiny bead just there where I haven't quite got enough product. Oh, that was me and my squeaky bed then. It wasn't me trumping. No, not today anyway. So you can see that bead, I just gently pat it and pull it down. And I'm, now I'm using the bally to the stock end of the brush because it's starting to set up and I want to just rearrange it slightly just so it's nice and neat so I have less filing to do. I want to get my application nice and neat so I have, you know, minimal filing to do. That's not always the case. You know, sometimes I'll have to go in with an electric file. But the majority of the time, I'm just trying to make it nice and neat. I'm getting it nice and smooth, making sure I've got my apex. You know, I've, I've moved my apex back to that back third of the nail because as the nail grows down, obviously that will move forward and you will lose strength. So this is the little pinky nail that, yes, got knocked off. By flipping tyres. I mean, what, what kind of exercise is that? Flipping tyres? i tell you what, I'd be dying after that. My arms would be hanging off. I wouldn't be able to do nails or nothing. Notice with this one, it's a small nail. And we're going to try and get the majority of, of this done in this one bead. So it's a nice big bead. Getting that cuticle nice and neat. And then catching the product. And lifting. And tucking it on the top. So I'm just lifting that up, make sure I tuck those sides in nice and neat. And again, we'll catch that and we'll just pull it up. And at this point, I'm thinking, damn, that bead might have been a little bit too big. I think some of this product may have to be stretched all the way to the end. And then we need to remove the excess. So we're getting it nice and neat. And I know we've got this excess at the bottom. And we're just going to flick that off. The end, get rid of that. Make sure it doesn't sit under the nail. Sometimes that can happen when you're sort of removing any excess by dragging it to the tip, and we don't want that. Again, making sure those sides are nice and neat. And smooth, smooth, smooth. Get it nice and smooth. I just, I'm just tapping the bottom there. Yes, I said that. Tapping the bottom. Which means I'm just tapping that tip just to make it nice and sort of straight. Oh, look at that. I do like tapping the bottom. <laughs> and at this point, I'm thinking, come on, Kirsty, that's done now. Come on, crack on. Now we are using my um, my metal file. Now, if you order the file trial kit, you actually get the metal file in there, and it's actually reduced down. If you so, you actually get one file for, with all the different grits. So you've got a two forty grit, a one eighty grit, a one fifty grit, a oh god, hundred grit. And you've got the metal file as well, all together, and it actually works out cheaper if you just want to test it first and see if you like it. So, it's, you know, the file trial kit's really nice and easy to buy, not too expensive either. So, the metal file I always use at the sides because I know how amazingly straight it gets those sides. It also stops the file from eating in. To the side so if you use a normal file at the sides and I always say this when I teach using a normal file like I've got now and going up those sides like when you're getting that sort of side nice and straight you want to get that nice and straight first with your metal file if you do it with a normal hand file 
then sometimes because the board of the file is actually thicker than a metal file, you can eat away at the sides with the file. So it just gets everything nice and straight and then we can go in with a normal file and this is 100 grit that I've got here and I can tell that because it's got a black centre board. It does say on the file but I've got a black centre board. So I'm just whipping over, removing any bulk and just making sure it's nice and straight, it's symmetrical. So just giving it a nice shape. Making sure that cuticle area is nice and neat. The thing with the cuticle area is you don't want to have this lip like you don't want to have like a, an edge to it it wants to be it wants to look like it's actually growing from the cuticle you don't want that like a bit of a like a you've got the nail then you've got this little bump you will definitely get lifting if you leave it like that so we make sure it's nice and you know nice and thin right at that cuticle area I'm just going to do that over all of the nails and I kind of go through pretty much the same filing routine through all the nails when I do it because it gives a better finish you get more of a uniform finish to the nails I do like to feel the nail as well dragging you'll notice that I'm constantly dragging that thumb down the nail to just sometimes you know you can't see what you need to remove but sometimes you can feel if there's any sort of lumps and bumps anywhere so you notice that this is a little bit faster but this is actually my normal filing speed So if I'm actually working, sort of, if I were, you know, if I was working in a salon, this would be my normal filing speed. I'm just checking there that there isn't anything under that nail because I can feel something. So I'm just using the very, very edge of that file just to make sure it's nice and smooth under there. I've got a pretty hectic few months coming up. Um, I'm going to Trinidad and Tobago to teach. And I'm also going to Barcelona to teach. Um, setting up classes in the UK as well. I'm like, oh my God. Plus filming for Neo Nails. Plus, you know, being a mother of two children. It's all a bit crazy at the minute. And you see how I'm holding this little finger then? I've, I've, I've gone over the top because I really needed support. Sometimes I will change the position of my hand when I'm holding the nail because I need a different kind of support. And have a little go at that and, and see how it feels. It does feel, you know, strange if, you don't, if you're not used to holding the finger like that. But it is worth sort of going round and changing your positioning of your hands to see if you can get a better position. Sometimes, you know, my normal sort of ice like grip doesn't always work. But I really wanted to just hold the finger and not be really touching the nail with my other hand. Now I'm using the secret weapon bit and I'm actually cutting in that smile line a little bit deeper because when you file the nails a little bit shorter, because obviously they've grown up, the smile line gets slightly less and it can be a little bit thicker on the end as well. So I like to keep the thickness on the end, but then use the secret weapon bit and actually drill underneath 
and it creates an illusion that the C curve is a little bit greater, but it also adds a little bit of strength at the same time as well. And it doesn't look really thick when you look at the end of the nail. As I'm describing this, I've just got my hand and looked at the end of my nails. Oh, I'm a bit weird. Here we go with the buffer. I think this is sped up. I think I did speed this up. So I'm just buffing the nail just to make it nice and smooth. Because obviously we're going to do a little bit of gel polish design on these nails. And I do like to go up the sides as well. You know, it's not just about, you know, getting that that top surface nice and smooth. Some people kind of miss, you know, parts of the nail. But I want to get it nice and smooth. And as I'm just bringing it up the tip of the nail, that means I'm just taking off those sharp edges. Here we go with the bubble magic. So what I've done is I have mixed washing up liquid, a little bit of gel residue wipe off solution and a little bit of water and then pour it on to the gel polish now the gel polish isn't just gel polish it's gel polish and a little bit of top coat as well so you can do a full nail you can do like a little section like i've done like a little sort of swoosh down the nail and you can frame it with a little bit of glitter chrome a bit of bling there you are I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later, guys.